Congressman, you began by denying that there is a consensus on the science. There is a consensus on the science. You must have been listening to our testimony that we've had for the last few days with dozens of experts that have come in who have given completely different views. Well, there. So I would, people, I would, I would, I would encourage you to go back and look at the testimony there, this committee's heard. There are people who still believe that the moon landing was staged on a movie lot in Arizona. And neither of us was, are one of those. And I know you like giving those cute anecdotes. This is not a cutesy issue. We're talking about no, that can export millions of jobs out of our economy, out of our country, and testimony has been given just to those numbers. And so we're talking about a serious consequence that there would be on this country and the carbon leakage that would occur where the carbon would be emitted, but it would be emitted in China and India, and the jobs would go to China and India. And that's been testified before this committee in the last few days as well. Man, so we testify about the actual cost. Do you want to talk about the cost? Man-made global warming pollution causes global warming. That's not a cutesy issue. It's not an open issue. It's your and it's your opinion. Obviously, you've stated it many times. It's the it's the would you talk to the, the opinion of the global scientific community, and more importantly, and not in unanimity. The, there are others on the other more side. More importantly, more importantly, Congressman, that opinion is the opinion of the scientific studies conducted by the largest corporate carbon polluters 14 years ago, who have lied to you and who have lied to the American people well, for 14 years. And you years. talked about carbon, and I've got to, I'm running out of time. We're